everyone and welcome back to Come Through the Plans. This is Carmen. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today I'm going to be planning in my vertical happy planner that I use as my catch-all planner for the week of January 22nd through January 28th. And this week is going to be a very special spread because it is inspired by my husband. His birthday is on the 23rd. So I am going to be doing a reading theme. Uh, reading is one of his favorite hobbies. So I figured I would use some of my winter reading stickers that I have. It's perfect because reading is one of his favorite things to do. And we are currently in the winter time. So I thought it'd be perfect. So I'll be using stickers from... The Designer Chameleon Winter Reading Sticker Collection. This is the main page. And I went through and I actually did some uh, coloring on the actual stickers to kind of fit more like a masculine uh, type style than the feminine just because I didn't want to put a bunch of pink stickers on my husband's spread. So um, I'll, I'll tell you guys kind of how I did that. So this is the Winter Reading Day Sticker Sheet the winter reading header boxes sticker sheet and then another one of the winter reading but i already had used this in another spread but i figured i could use it again here and then a couple of stickers from the cozy ski lodge uh, collection so i have the cozy ski lodge header boxes plus an extra large sticker from the cozy ski collection and then a cozy ski lodge quotes sticker sheet for a quote for this week and then also some stickers from the cozy reading spread set all these stickers are from designer chameleon i am a brand ambassador so i'm going to go ahead and put my discount information down below so if you guys decide you'd like to take a look and shop uh, you guys can save some money it'll be 15 percent off of your order all right so let's go ahead and get to planning all right so these i did not alter so this one this particular hot chocolate cup it used to be pink and i just went in with a pen and i colored it in and so now it's a blue mug instead of a pink mug these i haven't altered or did i yeah okay so the books were more of like a light pink almost like a purplish pink so i went in with a blue marker and i can do that again because i think it didn't really catch very well but i just kind of went in and like um, darkened it a little bit with a blue mild liner and same thing here with the books so now it's a little more on the bluish side same thing here with this header box it was a pink header box so I went in with a pen and the pen I used for the mug and for a lot of these alterations was my uh, pilot precise v5 it's an extra fine tip so it's good for those little places like these. So then this used to be pink and I went in with the pen and made it blue. Okay, now here, the glasses used to be like this pink color. I left this one pink so you guys could see it was pink. All of them were pink like this, but I went in with my pen and I made the glasses blue. And I'm actually going to finish the last one here on camera so you guys could see how easy it is to just go ahead and alter your stickers that's one thing to remember don't be afraid to alter stickers to work for you i know you probably think well i don't want to you know mess up what the original artist did which is true but i mean they draw and they uh create the colors that maybe is something that they were thinking of or inspired by but you guys could have a different inspiration so you guys could just go ahead and alter this to work for you and all right so now we've got all of the glasses the for the days of the week in blue and here's the original sticker sheet see how these were kind of like a light purple almost pink so I'm gonna go in and actually alter these as well in case I want to use them in the spread you know what I'm gonna use the other side this is a dual tip so this goes here. I'm going to use this side so I can try to get in there as much as I can. Okay. And then do the same thing to this book over here. And this book here. All right. And everything else looks okay. The darker shades of purple are not too bad. I don't think those are 
gonna bother him very much but let me see I do have these snowflakes and I'd like to make them blue so that I can use them so I'm gonna do that as well this is not as tough because snowflakes you know they're not perfect they're snowflakes right they're, I mean they're gonna be a little off and that's okay okay And then here, not bad. And then we're gonna do the same thing to this one over here. Okay, so now that we have everything altered the way we want it to be, we're gonna go ahead and get the spread going. I definitely wanna white out the dates there. So let me get my white out this is a uh, big white out easy corrector tape and i have it linked down below in my amazon shop if you guys would like to shop that okay so here let's go ahead and grab a monday i think i'm going to use my tweezers for this let me see this is a bag i'm i have to try to find this bag and link it in case you guys are interested um, this is kind of where I keep all of my uh, most used planner tools. Okay, and this is my tweezers. They're my easy EK tools tweezers that I use to put down stickers when I don't want my hand to get in the way. Oh, I need to undo the rest of this. Okay. Then I can put my new date covers on. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're happy and that you're healthy and that so far things are going well for you. We have just gone through a major cold front here in Texas. Now, if you live up north, you may think um, the cold front we experienced probably wasn't as bad and it probably isn't, but we're just not kind of, we're not used to that kind of weather down here. So for us, it was kind of, it was intense. So we just got through some really cold weather and, um, now the weather's just windy and we're going to be getting lots of rain. Um, before it was just super, super cold, but now it's going to be humid and raining that we're used to so it's not a big deal my husband took the week of his birthday off so we hope to be able to do lots of stuff while he is um, off from work let's see now we can put these back on or we didn't take these off but now we can redate this i did a lot of uh sticker prep for this spread just because I kind of had a vision of what I wanted it to look like. Um, my husband reads a lot and so I thought what kind of a spread could I do for his birthday spread? Like I didn't want to do like a traditional like you know balloons and cake and stuff like that. I thought hmm out of all his hobbies what do I have stickers for? And he likes hunting as well but I don't have stickers for that so it kind of had to be something that I already had. All right, so now it's redated, and the first thing I'm actually going to do is I wanted, I had a vision for the sidebar here. I wanted it to look like a bunch of bookshelves because in our TV room slash reading room, my husband has two shelves where he keeps all his books, so I thought that would be cool, but I do need to get one of the books so I know how to separate these. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some from here. I'm gonna use these books that have the bookends, or the bookends, and we're gonna do like that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I am going to color in this as the bookshelf, this little quadrant. And we're going to do that all the way down. I hope it looks as good as I envisioned it in my mind. We'll see. All right. Super cool. I like it. So it's like a bookshelf here on the side. Oh, that's going to get on a page somewhere. I have to clean that later. Hopefully I remember. 
All right, so then, so we got the days done. And now we gotta get some of the bigger stickers in. So I've got this really big stack of books and this really big coffee. My husband loves, or not coffee, sorry, hot cocoa. But we're going to pretend in this spread that it's coffee because my husband loves coffee. So we're gonna take these two things and since they're huge, we're going to put them uh, we'll put them here. And I don't want to cut out any of the coffee cup, so we're gonna do this. Looks cool, right? All right, and then maybe we can put this quote down here because it says, books are the plane and the train and the road. They are the destination and the journey. They are home. So I'm going to put this down here on the bottom as a quote. Hopefully it fits. Got one more row to go. Yay, perfect. Okay, so we got that. That's what I was going to use from that sheet there. And then I guess... The snowflakes can go at the end if I need them. I'm going to put them here to the side. And this is some more deco, but now I think we're ready for the boxes. Okay, so let's see. We're going to put this long box on my husband's birthday. At the end of the day, he might just want to, you know, um, cozy up in his book room or TV room slash reading room and just cozy up with a book or something so we'll see and then we've got that one there we can do let's do this one on monday it's supposed to be raining all week which that's kind of a bummer but you know what can you do right all right, and then we can do a purple box here. And then let's see. And there we can do one of these coffee cups. So we can have a coffee cup on each day. Or not a coffee cup on each day, but something in the boxes. Okay, and then let's do this one down over here on Thursday. And then it will need to be one of these for Friday. And then we can do, what can we do? Let's do this one. It'll be over here. And then this orange one can go at the top over here, kind of halfway. Get it out of here. Okay. So we got a box for every day of the week. We will need some bullet points. So I'm going to keep these not too far from me. So in case I need to, I can grab some of those. So then now we're going to go ahead and go in with some deco. Since I did bring in that um, snowflake, I do want to bring in the ones that I altered here and put them around the page as well. There's that, and then I could do a smaller one somewhere down here. Okay. And now we can bring in the deco. There's this really cool scene here, but I don't think I have room for it. We can do... Here, we'll do this. The fireplace. We'll put it right here because we may turn on the fireplace that day. 
do some reading, kind of create a little scene here. I'm going to cut this. It's a little too big. I kind of want it to be sort of kind of proportionate, even though I know this is a lot bigger. But let's see if we can make it work. Okay. That'll work. I have my scissors here. I do need to do some little bitty snips, not big ones. Okay. All right, and then I do want to create another scene somewhere. I just don't want it to take up too much space. Okay, so we're going to do this this and then the little stack of books there and we're gonna do it up here it'll be cute here then this will be here and we'll do this one over here it's cute okay and then now we just need some bullet points and i think the spread is done after that uh, we need some bullet points for trash day and um, recycle, so I'm just trying to figure out which ones I want to use. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this one just so that we finish this sticker sheet. So let's put, let's see, if trash came, trash and recycle came, I'm actually planning this the weekend before this week so I'm thinking we just had trash pickup and recycle so this week is not a recycle week that's what I was trying to remember is it a recycle week but it's not and we're back on regular schedule because of the cold weather we were on a holiday schedule so that really threw me off okay so I think that's it for that. And then anything else that comes up that I don't have a box here for, I'll go ahead and fill in as we go. But with that last two, or with those last two bullet points, I think we are ready for a birthday week to celebrate my husband and super excited for how this spread turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe so that you can be notified of my future videos. Thank you so much for your support and I can't wait to see you guys all in the next one. Bye.